it's been a stressful situation. Having my Facebook hacked and disabled at this point, cannot get into it and it's been really frustrating and stressful. What happens if I take that one piece away? Is my business gonna be completely destroyed? And if it is, what else can I do? So today I'm gonna really quickly share with you guys seven tools that I use to get clients in my wedding photography business. And maybe you guys can start adding one of these tools so that something like this doesn't happen to you and just completely destroy your business. So I am Caitlin Workman and I'm here to empower you and encourage you on your photography journey. So today I'm gonna really quickly share with you guys seven tools that I use to get clients in my wedding photography business. First of all, I was using Facebook. I'll share how I'm using Facebook because if you still have access to yours, um, it can still be a great tool. Make sure that you have someone else as an admin on your page and that would help if something like this happens to you. But for Facebook, I just used it for creating relationships with people, added clients as friends, and I just like shared all of my work on there and different things like that. I've created a guide just for you guys that will teach you exactly what you should share about and how you can grow your business by making connections. No matter where you are in your journey, this is super helpful to you. So make sure that you guys grab that personal marketing guide. We're gonna talk about some things, some ways to do that here, but that's just a really in-depth way to look at things. So make sure you guys grab that. Instagram is my second tool. I love Instagram. I use Instagram the same way. I just use it for creating connections with people. It's a lot more than just posting and ghosting, um, but I'm providing value to my audience. And I'm also very intentionally connecting with other people on there, whether that's commenting on their posts or sharing personal things on my stories or going out and following other vendors who I can connect with. Um, but I use Instagram as a tool to connect with people and to get my work out there. So that's another great tool that you guys can use. And if you have no idea where to start sharing on Instagram, make sure that you guys go grab that free guide that I talked about because it gives you some really practical information for how you can start getting clients through Instagram today. Third, my website. Um, if you don't have a website, I would encourage you to do so. There are some different options that you can do that are a lot more affordable to get started. I use Show It for my website and I absolutely love Show It. I have a design that was created by Davy and Krista and I'll put a link for them in the comments because they have some beautiful designs if you guys don't know where to start designing your own website. But I think a website is really important because I know a lot of people who just use Facebook to get inquiries. They don't even have a website. And what happens is right now I can't get into my Facebook, but I had an automatic message going up on my business page that directs people directly to my website. So that's fine. If people are trying to reach out, they'll still be able to get a hold of me. So having a website is really important. It's basically like your online storefront where people can find you and they can see your work and all of that. I also use my blog with my website. So I'm going to say that's still number three because it goes along with my website. I use my blog as a way to share personally with my audience and I use my blog as a way to share work and it boosts your SEO and things like that. A new one that I've started this year is email marketing. Marketing. Um, if you don't have an email list, I would definitely encourage you to do that. I think for a while I thought, well, no one uses email anymore or whatever, but I have learned that people do use email. People read their emails and your email is something that you own. So while someone could get a hold of my Facebook account or someone could get a hold of my Instagram account or whatever. Um, my email list is mine. So as soon as people subscribe to it, I have access to them. So some ways that you can use email marketing. I use it when I'm launching new courses. I use it if I'm doing a sale on coaching sessions. If I decide I don't do very many family sessions, but every now and then I will do um, some family minis and email marketing is a great way to share that because you make sure that people see what's going on. So those are some different ways that I use email marketing. Also, I host a retreat. So when I launch details for that, that goes out to my email list first. But I would definitely encourage you if you don't have an email list to go ahead and start one just so that you have a way to communicate with clients if something like this were to happen. Number five and one of the most crucial, most important things is vendor relationships. I think that if you can create connections in person, that that's so valuable, especially if you were to lose something like your social media accounts, but just create genuine relationships with people. It also makes the job more enjoyable because entrepreneurship can be lonely. And if you have friends in the industry, it just really helps. So you can create, as a wedding photographer, I can create relationships with planners who can refer me and I can refer them to my couples because I know that they're gonna serve them well or with venue owners and different things like that. 
because we want to work with people that we love and that we trust. And so it's just great to have those connections with people and you can create those relationships in person. You can be really intentional by taking people out to lunch or just serving them really well by taking photos of them at events, or um, you can just start connecting with them online through Instagram, through their website and through different things like that. But vendor relation, vendor relation, <laughs> relationships with people is how I get a lot of my business at this point. I do get a lot through Instagram, but a lot comes from referrals from other photographers who are already booked that day or from venue owners or on their preferred vendor list or from planners that I've connected with and different things like that. So it's a really, really valuable tool that I think a lot of people forget about putting the time into. Last is client, actually not last, I have two more. Client relationships, this is so important. If you're creating such an intentional experience for your clients, then they are gonna spread the word for you. They're gonna be your little marketing people. So I think that creating that relationship with your clients and not just your clients, but your clients' family, how can you pour into them and serve them really well on the wedding day so that they tell other people about you? Because word of mouth is so old school, but it still works really well. It's still one of the most important pieces. Last, just a little small thing that you can add that you may not be doing right now is Pinterest. I use Pinterest. Um, I use the app called Tailwind to schedule out pins on Pinterest. It's just putting my work out in front of other people and it gets me a lot of traction to my website. You can connect your blog to your website and then you can share those blog posts on Pinterest and it's just getting your work out in front of other people. So if you are only using one platform to look at some other things that you could add to your plate that would bring in more clients in case something like this happens to you. Let me know if you guys have any questions and I'm cheering you guys on.